gonna be a video on how to check your Belmar regulator to see why it might not be turning on. First thing you're gonna need is a multimeter. You're gonna want your multimeter set to DC voltage mode. Second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do with your multimeter is check a battery. You can check your jump start terminals under the hood or a car battery or something to make sure that your multimeter is working correctly. The next thing that you wanna do with the vehicle on, we just have a power supply here. So we're, we're simulating this, but when I flip this switch, it's gonna turn the regulator on. The regulator didn't come on I would take the multimeter probes and this is called back probing you're gonna back probe to touch the metal that's connected to the wires to see what the multimeter says you can see there you have to be pretty solidly on I'm getting 12 volts that's the red wire and the black wire if there's no power on the red wire the regulator will never work the next wire you need to check is the brown wire brown wire is the ignition signal that turns the regulator on so if the regulator wasn't coming on and I had power on the red wire and the engine is on, check the brown wire. If I don't have 12 volts or more at the brown wire, that's why the regulator will not turn on. So you need power and ground, power at the red wire and the brown wire, and then obviously ground at the black wire. If you're not sure if the ground is good, you can also take your multimeter probe, put it on a known good ground and check either of these wires with reference to a known good ground. Maybe the ground is bad.